Lydia's House provides transitional housing for abused women and their children. Transitional housing is the step after the emergency domestic violence shelter. So basically after women and children leave an abusive situation, they can go to an emergency domestic violence shelter, but they can only stay there two to three months. So the founders of Lydia's House in founding the organization wanted to find out what the needs, the greatest need of these women and children was. And what they heard from the shelter workers is that the women and children just needed more time. Uh, two to three months is not enough time to become self-sufficient and independent to be able to make it on your own. So the whole goal of Lydia's House was to provide housing for a longer period. So when the women and children come to Lydia's House from the shelter, they can stay up to two years. They have a confidentially located furnished apartment and uh, we try to do our best to help them with any of the resources they might need. Lydia is found in the Bible. She's found in the book of Acts, chapter 16. Lydia was a seller of purple cloth and that marked her as an independent businesswoman. So that's something that we hope the women will achieve, that they can find their independence. Lydia, I think, was also a great uh, host. She, she personified hospitality. And so when we think about the women and children coming to Lydia's house, we want to provide that same level of hospitality for them and also think about, about what that means as far as the ministry and the services we provide. Thinking about the work we do at Lydia's house, I would say there have been opportunities to learn about uh, traditions of other faiths, some of their customs, their beliefs. Uh, we have a community meal every week, so in working with folks of other faith traditions, we've learned about um, some of the foods that they, they choose not to eat and things like that. So, so really there have been lots of learning opportunities. For us, a success is any time that a woman or a woman and her children move out of Lydia's house and they have a source of income, they have a place to stay, because we think that gives them stability and choices. And uh, I don't think we realize sometimes how important it is to have choices. So, so that's what a success looks like at Lydia's house. We have no faith requirements on who can volunteer at Lydia's house. We just have some training they need to go through to learn a little bit more about domestic violence and to learn more about Lydia's house, especially if they are going to be working directly with the women and children. We make sure that you will understand what these women and children have experienced, maybe not uh, specifically, but generally enough, and then also some of the things that you might witness in working with them and how to handle that. And knowing that if you're working directly with the women and children, we're not gonna put you in a situation where you are kind of the go-to person. There will always be staff present to help out. I think the moments at Lydia's house that have been most meaningful are those moments when life is most real. Uh, the moments of great sadness, the moments of great pain, the moments of great joy, those moments when the women or children have a great success, the moments when they're absolutely at their lowest. Because it's part of being human and something that we can all identify with. And I think as a chaplain, it's such a gift. It's a gift to be able to share those moments, to share those meaningful, emotion-filled, significant moments in their life. Um, there's, there's very few other occupations where you get to do that. There are so many women and children who do not have a place to stay when leaving a violent situation. The shelters are full and then Lydia's house is full. I think uh, the future of our agency will include some growth. Like how can we serve more women and children so that they have a place to go after the shelter? And along with that, Lydia's House is one of very few agencies in the United States that provides transitional housing for abused women and their children. So how could we not become a generic chain, but perhaps find some other regions where this would be a valuable tool, a valuable ministry, and grow some Lydia's houses across the country?